everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 109 of MC Eternal, where today I'm going to do a thing. A thing I ain't done in a while. I think it's been a really long time since we've played with these things that we're going to do. Uh, and we're going to do some things that we've never done before. We're going to do bees. Specifically, I'd like to look at career bees. Uh, career Bees is in the pack, and it's been almost a running joke that I've not yet had a chance to check out this mod. And I feel like now's the time. I feel like it's time to look at Career Bees. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up the episode. We're going to get into Gendistry uh, so that we can get some basic bree bee breeding mechanics in place. Now, as you guys know, sometimes bee breeding can be a little bit slow and take some time. But luckily, I've got a solution to that. It's called a time in a bottle. And it should make things a little less slow and tedious. Uh, and then what we can do between the industrial apiary and the time in the bottle and all the other things is really rapidly progress with basic bees, right? So we'll go through like meadows and forest and common and cultivated. And then uh, maybe even a couple other uh, things so that we can start playing with bee genetics, which is always a good time. Uh, so we'll, we'll definitely be looking at Gendistry and some of the mechanics of that mod. And then we'll jump into Career Bees and check out what Career Bees gets us. Because Career Bees adds a bunch of bees that do some pretty interesting things. And I'd like to investigate that and see what kind of cool things they do. Uh, Career Bees is a mod made by uh, RW Tema, who always makes some pretty powerful mods, uh, and they can be pretty fun. So I'm interested to see what kind of bee effects we can get. There's a lot here. We probably won't look at all the Career Bees, but I'm going to pick out a handful that look interesting and see what we can see and see if we like them. Does that sound like a plan? So the next couple episodes will uh, definitely be bee-centric, and... Uh, I'm excited to check it out. And with Gendistry, it should make life a little bit easier. So we can easily uh, jump in here and do some Gendistry related stuff. Now, it's been a really long time since I've played with Gendistry, like really long. So I kind of don't remember all the things, but we're gonna do our best to figure it out. Um, so like, do we have any drones and queens? Uh, we don't really have a lot. We've got some dire drones, which is always a good time. Uh, we'll, and a sinister drone. And how about princess? Do we have any of those? We have a dire princess. Okay, good times. Uh, and queen. Uh, we, yeah, no, we don't have any queens. So you know what we're going to need? We're going to need a scoop. Uh, so there's a Scooporator MX200 Turbo from Gendistry, uh, which seems pretty cool. I presume that's just an upgraded version of the scoop that maybe we'll use RF. I don't know why not. We'll check it out. Oh boy, that's a lot of that's a lot of crafting. Let's uh, let's add you to the know how to make things thing. You should know how to make things because we're gonna need some of these in the future, I'm sure, anyway. And uh, now's a good enough time to start learning that. So how about you? Hey, cool. You can do all the things. Nice. You already know how to make bronze gears. I am proud of that. Good job, Previous Dyer, teaching you how to make bronze and bronze gears. So now we can use you to make this, and that'll get us the Scooperator MX200 Turbo. Hooray! Which is RF powered, obviously, by the fact that it just got charged up. So, bees. It's been so long since we've done bees. Um, and I know some people aren't a huge fan of bees, but I think bees get a bad rap. Um, I think it's just one of those things that in the past could be very tedious and not super exciting to watch. However, nowadays with Gendistry and other mods that have kind of brought bees into the current environment of modded Minecraft, I think that you can absolutely get into bees and have a lot of fun automating them and uh, doing all kinds of cool stuff. So what I'm going to do first is fly around and find some hives. So what you want is a, a scoop or the, the upgraded version of the scoop, which is the Scooperator MX200 Turbo. Uh, courtesy of Gendistry. The scoop itself is from Forestry, which is the mod that originally introduced bees way back in a million years ago time. Uh, and when you break uh, a hive, you'll generally get a princess and a drone. And that's what we want to get first, is some princesses and drones. And what we're going to do is fly around the world and find some more princesses and drones. And there's, there's essentially a handful of different types of, of hives that you'll find in world gen depending on what mods you have there's a lot of mods that add things to bees there's a lot of mods that manipulate bees bees has just been around it's it's part of forestry like i said and it's been around forever it feels like i feel like 
was it 125 that had the first version of forestry maybe and i don't know if bees was in that version um but it was definitely added shortly thereafter so like we're talking years and years and years ago uh and since then there's been a lot of mods that add on to it like add features and add abilities oh i see another hive that i want so the the way to get started essentially is jumping in and finding two types of beehives the meadows bee which is generally found in open meadows and the forest beehive which is found up here in trees uh and the bees are red and blue respectively so i'd like to find a couple of those and the way bees work is you basically um you 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 put a princess and a drone together in an apiary of some sort or a beehive thingy um and once you've done that um they will breed together and create a queen. And the queen will produce resources for you and then will eventually die off, leaving behind another princess and a couple drones, sometimes one, two, or three, depending on uh, some attributes. And every type of bee has a bunch of different attributes and we'll be getting deeper into those attributes as we proceed with the series and you know play with the different things we'll see all those attributes and bees can have areas of effect and they can affect blocks in different ways and they can affect players in different ways and career bees specifically is designed to do stuff well, that's not a beehive either um so career bees give you like ore doubling bees and smelting bees and all these bees career bees basically gives you that's a that's a pam's harvest craft beehive that's a different kind of beehive that's not the beehive we're looking for they give you all kinds of different abilities and stuff, which is really pretty, pretty spiffy. So I'm excited to try out Career Bees. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I've I've owed uh, Tema a spotlight on it forever. I don't know if uh, I'll be able to get to a spotlight per se, but hopefully the next couple episodes in which we check out Career Bees a bit will suffice. <laughs> now, all I would love is another uh, beehive out here. Another forest hive would be great. There's another meadows hive. And grabbing a few of these when you get them is not a terrible idea by any stretch of the imagination. Having a few extra bees is not bad. Um, but as we progress, we will find that there's a lot that we can get from this. And you'll see there will be a use for having more bees over time, for sure. Uh, you'll notice drones stack, but princesses do not that's an attribute that you guys should pay attention to. Be ready to uh, drop them into some kind of bag and send them home, right? Boop, boop. And uh, yeah, that'll be a good time. So let me find a few more bees out in the wilds here. Uh, ideally, like I said, I'd like a few more forest hives if I could, would be great. Uh, and, and I'll just grab any and all meadows hives that I find as well. And we'll be right back in a few minutes, ready to set up apiaries and do some of our first bits of bee breeding. Hey, another dimensional door, sweet. All right, now that we've got uh, a few bees under our belt uh, and stored in the A system, of course, we're gonna go and look at making some of the blocks and machines from Gendistry. However, I also need to figure out where I'm going to do my Gendistrying because Number one, bees care about the environment they're in. So the biome that you happen to do this in matters to them. Now, luckily, Gendistry adds some upgrades that allow you to not worry about that as much. Uh, so you can get, for example, the planes emulation upgrade, which simulates a planes biome. So you don't have to worry so much about being in the proper biome. Um, or it'll simulate other kinds of biomes. So there's like a few other biome simulators here. There's also uh, a few other upgrades that are useful to make life a little bit easier on the on the budding apiarist. Um so we'll we'll definitely look at um you know making this stuff cool. And uh yeah, so you can see an ocean emulator, open sky upgrade. So generally speaking if you didn't have gendistry, you would need to care about what biome you put your bees in. Because we do have gendistry, we probably don't need to care that much. Um, and we can use planes emulation combination of planes emulation and open sky upgrades basically means that we don't have to worry about where where our bees live so we could put them for example in our basement in some spot or we could even put them in a pocket dimension right speaking of this is not a great place for this door to exist is it no it's definitely not it is definitely not rift remover excuse me sir yeah no go away rift goodbye rift we hardly knew you. 
Not a great place for that rift to live, um, but also still cool. Still cool, like this mod a lot. Um, so what should we do? We could have um, another secrety type area, kind of like we did for nuclear craft, in which we, um, you know, have a have a secret bee breeding room. That could be cool. Or we could do something outside in like a plains biome, and we could link over there with a dimensional door, uh, which would be also cool. Which basically would 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 be pretty neat, I think. Um, like a nice, cause like keeping your bees inside the basement doesn't sound fun, right? These are living creatures. They want to be outside. They want to be flowering. They want to do stuff. So how about we find a nice, friendly looking plains biome, something like that, uh, where our bees can live. And then we'll use dimensional door rift signatures um, to, to kind of, to do that. Is that how I, I think that's a cool idea. Um, I wish, uh, where, where, where in the world could I put, um, like a bee, let's do this. Does this seem like a cool place? To have a door that leads to our bee area? I like that. So I'm gonna bind you here, buddy, right? I like that plan. And then we're gonna go find like a nice kinda, come on, it's dark enough. Let me just sleep. New mod idea, lets you sleep at any time. I'm pretty sure that mod exists somewhere. And let's find a nice place and we're gonna build like a little apiary style structure uh, where, where our bees will live. Uh, let's look at journey map, what do I got here? So we've got, you know, a relatively nice area southwest or southeast. Let's go southeast. I think that's about accurate, right? So I kind of like this area, right? This is a nice, peaceful little feel. I mean, we got some rivers nearby. We got some, we got some sand. We got some cobblestone for some reason with what looks like some kind of traps. So that I'm actually a little bit more concerned about and less excited about. I don't know what that is. Looks neat, but I think I think this ish area feels feels pretty nice right a little peaceful ish right like right next to what is this is a beach biome i presume yeah beach biome uh and sunflower plains which i presume is like you know any other plains biome um this is all sunflower plains is that what it is it would appear to be which is probably just an extension of plains which means most of our bees will be happy here so let's call this let's call this home i'm gonna Link this place up right about here-ish. Hello, Rift. Now, does he repair or what's the deal? Oh, are you out of, okay, cool. So you go, boop, there. Is that the direction I want you? Uh, yeah, it's fine, I can go out, I can, we can face out that way. We'll flatten out this terrain a little bit. And then home. And then that, and then poof. And that looks pretty cool to me. I like it. I like that. I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call that good, right? And that is that is the doorway to our new forestry B area, right? That's cool. That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's get our uh, horn thingy. Uh, don't we have a horn of the wild? Is it in here? Ah, oh, look at that. It's in there. Nice. Good job, me. That's probably a smarter part, place for it. Uh, and let's also snag this golden heart so that you can continue repairing things, buddy. Charge that bad boy up. That's looking good. Now will you repair this for me? Thank you. And that should be enough for that. And then we'll probably, how am I for dirt at the moment? Pretty good. All right, so let's get some gadgets. I'm gonna just flatten out the um, terrain over there and we'll come back in a few minutes once I've got a nice, flat, grass-free terrain uh, with which to build upon. Sound cool? See you guys in just a moment. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, I changed up a few things. Look at this, ha. Ah, I decided to move my door up here. So that was as easy as destroying the door that was here, using the gold one to remove the rift, and then creating a new link up there. So this is gonna be my, I feel like this is like an appropriately sized room for my teleport from point A to point B places. I always forget that I have an attic because I'm used to just having basements. So I'm like, all right, I have an attic, don't I? 
I mean, I have a smaller attic, if you know, but I wanted to have... I mean, I don't know that we're going to fill this area, obviously. Probably not. But still, I like the idea, right? And then we can just boop right into there. And let's take a nap because it's so dark you guys won't be able to even see the fanciness that I made. I made a fancy wooden house. If you're going to have bees, you need wooden glass, right? I figured that was about the rule. So we've got uh, a wooden area here. That door is centered, right? Yeah, he seems to be. Sweet. How cool is that, huh? So, like, it, it leads directly into the bee house. And if I have to get out, then I need to break walls. Good, I don't think I'm going to have to get out as much. Uh, and then over down here, uh, I set myself up with a quantum link chamber, which should be cool. And uh, we can probably do something like this, 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 and that should be cool. All right, I like it. And then let's pop home. I don't think I put my other quantum linky dude into there. I added this over here. How does that look? Cool, online, happy, good, yes. He may not be chunk loaded over there, but it should be fine, right? So what we'll have is uh, that, fancy, schmancy. All right. So we'll do that, and then we'll pop back to our B area, and we should have wireless out of range. Wireless in range! Yay! Hooray! So how does this look? I just took some oak wood, chiseled it up a little bit, a little bit of chiseled glass, right? Gray bordered. I, I like that one. I like my glass to be almost as clear as possible. Um, you know, in fairness, we could have gone with, what is it, thickened glass from extra utilities? Do we know how to make that? We don't really. That one's also a nice, super clear looking glass. I always forget that that exists a little bit. Maybe we should teach you how to be made. Right? Does that seem seem like a smartish move? So you could do that, and then you could do um, in this mode that. And I know we've got our energized smelter down here, Elite Smelting Factory. He's pretty full. Did I make another one of those? I did make another one of those. Good job. So now we can make thickened glass, right? Let's do a thousand of it. Why not? Should be fine. Maybe we'll exchange and gadget it up. We'll give it a few minutes to cook. All right, so now that that's working, and I'm very happy with how fast I travel through from point A to point B. Let's look again at Gendistry, right? So one thing we're gonna want is the industrial apiary. That's gonna be an important thing to have, right? Do we know how to make sturdy casings? We do not, so how about you get learned? You do that, right? What else in Gendistry are we gonna have to have here? A bee receptacle, that's gonna be important. Do you know how to make weighted pressure plates? I think you do. Yeah, you do. Good. Uh, what else from Gendistry are we going to need? Uh, we're going to definitely need upgrade frames. And I'm going to want you to probably have a few upgrades. Um, we're going to want lifespan upgrades. These are important. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, and for that, you're going to want fermented. We don't know how to make those yet. But we do know how to make mushrooms and sugar and spider eyes. We have a few of, so we should be cool. So lots of things that need to get crafted here, but nothing too intense. What else we got? Yeah, I'm just trying to keep this stuff all somewhat together. Although putting all the things that are prerequisites for each other in the same interface is probably technically not the right way to go, but yeah, it'll be fine. Um, the other thing we might want is, uh, let's see, automation upgrades are nice to have. That would be cool. Uh, we might want uh, the seal upgrade that makes rain protection a thing, though we're going to need beeswax for that, so we might need to hold off on that. Um, territory, ocean, open sky is a good one to have usually. Well, well we shouldn't need that because we got, we got the glass ceilings, right? Um, sieve upgrade, that's for pollen collection. This is production, but I don't think we can do it until we get to royal jelly, so we are going to hold off on that. Um, and that's the, the foundational stuff that we'll want for Gendistry to get our bees cooking, right? So let's get a couple apiaries, right? We're gonna want, let's say, three of them for the time being. Uh, and in addition to those, we're gonna get some automation upgrades and some lifespan upgrades. I forget how many of these we're gonna want. I think it tells you, right? Maximum installed four. Hey, wow. I, I like totally picked 12 as a random number and that was the right number to do. 
Um, yeah, that's cool. You know what else might be nice to know? The light upgrade. Yeah, that's a good one too. We'll talk about what all these do in a minute. I'm still of the opinion that you should have an interface terminal, like a checkbox that says only show empty slots. And then you don't have to scroll past a million full slots. Because it's rare that you're manipulating full slots, you're almost always trying to insert a new one. I'm just saying, that would be a cool feature. Uh, so let's get a few light upgrades here as well. And I'm pretty sure we're going to want some ultimate cabling, right, for power, universal cables. And most of our other crafting should be complete. So we've got you, 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 and uh, that all looks good. Sweet. And then my dimensional door stuff can go away. And how's my thickened glass doing at this point? We got the thousand that we asked for. So let's put away the gray bordered glass. And what we're gonna do is you, I don't want you in fuzzy mode. And you're gonna go there and you're gonna go there. That's right, you're a little bad, tricky to boop. It's a little hard to see sometimes, but that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And then that go away, and that looks beautiful. Nice. Doesn't that, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, maybe I technically should have had a line here that would be like splitting down there. Would that, is that the proper way to do that? I don't know. I can never tell. Did I not have any more wood that was properly chiseled? I might not have. I think you were vertical. Is that the wrong thing? You are uneven verticals. And I chose what? Just verticals? I want this one. Boop, boop, boop. Is that the better, a better look? I guess that does look better, right? I think that does look cool. I like it. I like it. All right, let's do it. All right, so you over here, the only problem with building out of wood is that my drill doesn't do a good job of building out of wood. Though to be fair, isn't there an upgrade I can do for that in perks? Isn't there a perk upgrade that's like, hey, you can, you can mine whatever you want with whatever you want? Uh, sec. Hey, right here, a pickaxe can be used instead of an axe or a shovel. Do you think that would work? Hey, there you go. A pickaxe can be used instead of an axe or a shovel. Does that work? I can't tell if that's faster. It doesn't seem it, right? Boo, I was hoping that would work. I wonder if that only like legitimately works on pickaxes. Hmm. I don't know why I would want chain mining. That does not sound ideal. I mean, it sounds cool, but just a bunch of increased mining speeds and reaches over here. All of which sounds cool. I'm just curious, like with that perk, does using like a pickaxe, it's gonna make a diamond pickaxe, why not? It doesn't seem to do anything, does it? It really doesn't. We totally enabled it, right? A pickaxe can be used instead of an ax or a shovel. Yeah. Oh well, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I was just playing. I was just playing, y'all. All right, so you are going to go here with our first three industrial apiaries. Boop, boop, boop. How cool is that? That is nifty. All right. 
Look like it's getting to be dark time. It is looking like it's about to be dark time, and I am sleeping at a weird angle. But it's better now. So here's your industrial apiary, right? In order to get these things to work, uh, what you want to do is get your drones and your princesses of both types. Um, so what I'm going to do is get a couple more um, drones of forestry and from, from the basic forestry ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a uh, Meadows Princess and a Meadows Drone. And we put them together, they're going to breed, shh, don't look, and turn into a queen. All right. Um, and Ignoble's kind of bad, but it's not the end of the world. I think there's ways to fix that. Um, Ignoble is not great. Pristine is great. So you really want Pristine if you can get it. Let's get a Pristine Princess. Um, there's a Pristine Meadows. Sweet. All right. And that'll get us... Shh, don't look. Okay, it's been enough time. Oh, good. Uh, there you go. Cool. Now, they need flowers nearby. So let's get dandelions um what i would love is a way to pop outside without too much fuss now is that going to be sufficient i'm assuming that the flower being on the other side of the block is okay i can't say that with absolute certainty but i think it's okay right worst case we could put it on the inside no flowers. I think there's like a, there, it's every now and then that it'll check for the presence of flowers. I don't think it checks for blocks in between the flowers, right? I don't think so. No flowers. I mean, I, I beg to differ. We'll put a poppy out there too. And remember, um, the bees will pollinate the flowers and spread them. So what we'll find over time is a bunch of flowers showing up probably in this area. Um, so let me take you out and put you back in. You are still claiming there's no flowers, which I'm going to call a lie. Out and in. Out and in. Out. Break. And in. Am I insane? There's totally flowers there, right? Oh, hang on, hang on. He's found his flowers. Good job, B. Good job. There you go. Now let's see if they continue. So you can see the bees pollinating with the flowers. That's good. And he should find one uh, at some point as well. It might take a minute or two, but he'll get there. All right? Um, now, that's cool. You're at 100% Meadows Queen? But you still say no flowers. Why are you at no flowers? I don't understand that. Let's put our lifespan upgrade in there. So what happens is, over time, the, the queen here is going to produce resources ever so slowly, because these are really basic, simple bees. Better ones produce more and different resources over time. Uh, but this one's going to slowly but surely die off and turn into uh, queen's... Uh, or turn into princess and one princess always and one to three or four drones. Um, now, it takes a long time, but if you put lifespan upgrades in there, it'll reduce their lifespan significantly. So what was a zero to five percent and then five to ten percent, so we were basically progressing five percent at a time before, is going to quickly become uh, a much bigger jump. And next time this progression occurs, it should be significantly more than five percent. Basically, by putting a lifespan upgrade in here, your bees die off faster, and you get more princesses and drones. So see how it went from 10 to 35? So we basically, you know, significantly improved that. Now, why do you keep saying there ain't no drone? I disagree strongly with your assertment that there are no flowers nearby, buddy, because there really are flowers nearby. Like, I don't know why you insist that there are not. Right, but we're gonna show you how wrong you are because there's absolutely flowers. I'm pretty sure a dandelion counts. All right, so he's gonna die a little bit quickly now. Tick acceleration helps, of course. 
and that's cool. Now, if we throw the automation upgrade in here, this thing will make it so that, uh, so what happens is the, the queen died, we got a princess and a drone, right? With the automation upgrade, it will automate this part for us, right? Where it turns into uh, a bee, and look, we got our first honeycomb, hooray! See how cool that is? Nice and quick. And now the automation upgrade should automatically remate them. So the princess and drone should be uh, turned back into a queen immediately. So see how the drones and princesses just move directly into the left slots. Perfection. All right, guys, so we got the foundation of stuff going here, right? How about we wrap up the episode? We'll come back next time and continue and start breeding bees into common and eventually cultivated. Sound like a plan? And that'll help us along our way to get towards career bees. So the foundations are here. Let's continue next episode. For now, Delta 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.